Hi, I'm John Laysap. I'm the curatorial director here at Hammond Castle Museum, and I'd like to give you a little sneak peek at all the exciting stuff that we've got planned for the 2023 season. This season is all about reinventing our museum, starting with, appropriately enough, our invention room. This exhibit space has long focused on the scientific career of our founder, John Hayes Hammond Jr., and so it will remain for the foreseeable future. And it's the future that is key because our redesign focuses on future-proofing the room with a more flexible, modular approach that will allow us to add greater value for our members and visitors by more frequently updating and refreshing our exhibits. For example, the room will feature a large display screen that will be your doorway into the world of Hammond and his career. A wealth of interactive content awaits visitors in 2023 and beyond, with digital information panels, multimedia content, and even educational games, all navigable and playable using a touch-free interface. And as much as Hammond was a man of the future, his work, of course, took place in the past, and so we honor that history with the most complete list of his patents ever assembled, including both U.S. and foreign documents. And with our digital exhibit expansion, you can view and read every page of his complete collection of 551 patents on your mobile device. We also pay homage to Hammond's work with a selection of brand new graphics that help visitors to visualize the sometimes abstract sounding technology our founder patented throughout his career. But it's not just graphics. We have some of Hammond's actual inventions on display alongside electronic devices of his time period to make you feel like you're stepping into his laboratory. To augment this, we will feature multiple rotating exhibits based on some of Hammond's notable inventions, all realized through the use of electronic models and holograms. And speaking of holograms, well, more on that shortly. But our exhibits aren't just limited to STEM topics. In April, Hammond Castle Museum will be the home of a major new art exhibit devoted to the work of Eric Pape, a prominent American painter and illustrator, a longtime friend of the Hammond family, and the artist behind the majestic mural inside the museum's war room. In addition to the artworks themselves, we have also produced a new documentary on the life and work of Pape, which will be available for viewing online, as well as inside the museum during the exhibit. And it's not just exhibits that we've been hard at work on during the winter months. We've also undertaken two large simultaneous restoration projects, one to preserve our cloister archways outside the museum, and the other to bring Hammond's massive pipe organ back into playing shape, with newly restored decorative facades inside the Great Hall as well. There is still much work to be done before we reach our goal, but we are committed to achieving it. As far as our regular educational tours are concerned, 2023 will be a complete overhaul of our tour programming. Our team of researchers and archivists have been combing through the museum's records with a fine-tooth comb, both those on paper and on vinyl. In the process, we've uncovered and digitized a great deal more information about Hammond, his collection, his work, and the museum itself, and revised our educational materials to reflect a far more accurate picture of the world of Hammond than ever before. We're also revamping our STEM tour programming with a fresh approach for students of both history and science. Oh, and remember how we mentioned holograms earlier? Well, for our marquee exhibit to open the 2023 season, I think I should let Mr. Hammond tell you himself. For 2023, my museum has kindly resurrected me through the miracle of today's artificial intelligence as a holographic projection. So make sure to visit me and learn all about my career, straight from the inventor's mouth. And that's just a little taste of what we have to offer you in 2023. We hope to see you here at Nanacast Museum.